Tesla has recently announced its plans to construct a new facility in Mexico, which it's dubbed the Gigafactory. As a well-known and successful automaker that introduced electric cars to the world, Tesla has faced the challenge of limited vehicle supply. However, this issue will be addressed by the Gigafactory in Mexico, which will help to expand Tesla's production capacity. Elon Musk has also hinted at the possibility of introducing new Tesla models in the near future. However, before we begin our video, we'd greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon. Let's get started. Initially, the news of Tesla's plans for expansion and new product launches seemed contradictory given the reported short supply. However, this all changed when Elon Musk revealed the opening of a new Gigafactory during Tesla's Investor Day, which was held at the Austin factory site. The announcement of the new Gigafactory was highly anticipated, not only because Tesla needed to increase its production, but also because of its plans to introduce new models. While everyone was expecting the new Gigafactory, no one expected that Tesla would choose Mexico as the site for the factory, which has made headlines. As a technology giant, the location of Tesla's factories carries a significant impact, and therefore, the choice of location is crucial. Since it's no secret that numerous countries worldwide would eagerly offer Tesla an opportunity to establish their factory, however, when Elon Musk disclosed the unveiling of the fresh Gigafactory in Mexico, he divulged scarce details. The announcement, in and of itself, was an astonishment. But the lack of specifics incited a surge of curiosity. Musk merely mentioned the site of the new factory, located in Monterrey, Nuevo León. And that was the extent of the disclosure. Perhaps you're wondering why this came as a surprise. After all, nobody anticipated that Tesla would choose Mexico for their latest factory. The truth is rumors about Elon Musk and Mexican President Andreas Manuel Lopez Obrador has been circulating for some time yet neither party confirmed the reports. If something was brewing and the rumors were circulating, the announcement of the new factory at Investor's Day in Austin took everyone by surprise. Elon Musk managed to pique everyone's interest but let them hanging by not providing complete details. However, as time passed and information started trickling out from various sources, things began to get more exciting. According to the latest news, Tesla has acquired an expansive 4,200-acre plot of land, marking the largest land area ever utilized by Tesla for any of their gigafactories. The most intriguing aspect is that Tesla has been allocated a dedicated lane at the customs office on the U.S.-Mexican border. This is quintessential Elon Musk and Tesla, always pushing the boundaries. In addition, the site selected is conveniently located near the Austin factory. Although Elon Musk has stated that the new plant will supplement the outputs of other factories, he wouldn't invest billions just for a factory that is supplementary. There are evidently compelling reasons that makes this new site a critical component. Opening one of the biggest gigafactories that Tesla has ever launched presents a tremendous opportunity for the company to experiment with ideas that have been on hold until now. However, that's not the most intriguing aspect of this new venture. What's really significant is the fact that Tesla announced the Cybertruck, the futuristic looking all electric pickup truck, a considerable time ago and has received several orders since then. As per official company reports, the Cybertruck is slated for production in 2023. It's not hard to connect the dots here. Ever since the news broke about a new Gigafactory in Mexico, there have been widespread speculation that Monterey will serve as the production site of the highly anticipated Cybertruck. Tesla also has other vehicles in the pipeline, including an electric hatchback catered to the middle segment consumers. Tesla is also working on a new platform for its vehicles, but disrupting an established assembly and production line is not an ideal approach. Therefore, the new site offers Tesla the perfect testing ground for this platform. The location of the new site is like hitting the jackpot for Tesla, providing the company with numerous benefits. Building the factory in Monterey offers Tesla significant advantages, thanks to the US-Canadian-Mexican border treaty. Everyone knows that Elon Musk avoids taxes, and the deal he struck for the new factory in Mexico is the jackpot. 
Tesla signed a no tax deal with Mexico for the next two decades. This is a massive win for the company and is not the only beneficiary. According to Mexican officials, Tesla will be hiring between five to 7,000 local residents to work in the new factory. In addition to electric vehicle production, Tesla is scouting for locations to set up battery production centers. As Tesla moves ahead with a new platform and prepares to launch its new 4680 battery cells, a dedicated section within the new Gigafactory will be allocated for battery cell production. The current situation is a win-win for both Tesla and Mexico. Tesla benefits from the site in close proximity to their Austin headquarters and a tax reduction, while Mexico has attracted a tech giant to the country. This is a substantial deal for Mexico, which is currently in a developing phase. Many manufacturers are searching for sites to expand their business operations. While Audi, Mercedes, and BMW already have their electric car manufacturing programs in place, opening the Gigafactory in Mexico will make the country a favorable location for other manufacturers seeking to expand their production capacity. The new Gigafactory is not only enormous in size and land area, but it will also have a significant impact on Mexico. After a long wait, Tesla is finally gearing up to make significant changes, which it has been planning for quite some time. It's not just the new platform that Tesla intends to implement. Elon Musk is determined to increase the production capacity. Currently, Tesla produces 2 million vehicles annually, which is far less than the demand. And the costs associated with it are enormous. Considering that raw materials will become more expensive, Tesla aims to reduce costs by making the production process more efficient and achieving economies of scale by manufacturing more vehicles in a year. Establishing a new Gigafactory was a necessary step for Tesla to achieve its goals and aspirations for the future. The scale of the new factory is so vast that it makes other Gigafactories appear small in comparison. Furthermore, Tesla's plans for the new site are quite ambitious. However, Tesla faces stiff competition from other manufacturers and to remain competitive, Tesla has to take action. One of the strategies was to increase production and the new Gigafactory will aid Tesla in achieving that goal. The appearance of the new site remains to be seen until it's established. Tesla is known for creating sites with unique designs, incorporating the same minimalistic philosophy as they do with their vehicles. While we can expect a distinct design, the size of the factory being much larger this time may result in a different look. Tesla has not made any announcement about the additional sections beside the two, one for the new battery cell and the other for the Cybertruck. Therefore, we'll have to wait until the final design to be revealed. Would you like to see a tour of the new Gigafactory once it's established? Let us know in the comment section below. That concludes our discussion for today. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.